Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game pinball machine video for you today. We've been doing a series on repairing this cool Chicago coin game and we finally got it finished so we figured we'd take a little video of it once it's all up and down, done and uh, let everybody see how the game was designed and play it a little bit. So this is Chicago Coins 1969 Gunsmoke. Really old, 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 old game. You don't get, we don't get too many Chicago coin uh, games in. They were eventually bought out by Stern Pinball, uh, which then went out of business and came back as Stern Pinball many years ago. So this was actually uh, the company, though, that old man Stern bought all those years ago. Um, and if, if, if you've heard the name Gunsmoke, you probably know that was a TV show way back in the day. Um, so it's always kind of had a, Western sound, a Western theme to it. Pretty cool uh, theme. Cool stenciled side art. I think those are snakes. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. This one's got a lot of wear and tear on it, but it came out pretty good. It's got a really cool back glass. In, in uh, the repair video that we shot, or one of the repair videos that we shot, we repainted some of that. So some of that's been touched up. But it all looks pretty good. All the art in the back, back is always pretty neat. So this guy here, it looks like him and his horse are doing circles around and around. You got a guy back here kind of pulling a gun on somebody. And then behind him uh, is a little fence. You got a couple cow pokes over here just watching. This guy's shooting all over the place. These two guys are shooting at this guy. And you've got this old uh, town scene here behind him. And then down at the front, you got this guy here. Who's got both guns out? So who knows what's going on with all this? I always thought they did a cool job on the artwork one. These back glasses, I guess it depends on who did it, but pretty slick. A game of skill. It was a two player game, obviously. And then on the play field, this was the first, I believe, this was the first, uh, at least American game, to have this ball saver post that comes up while you're playing. So that pops up where you can't lose the ball down the middle. But you can lose the ball by cradling the, if you try to catch the ball, it'll roll out the in lane. Or that's not, I guess it's not an in lane, that's an out lane now. These little flippers, usually people don't like them because they're so small, but they're real strong on this game. I mean, they're they're fine. You can hit anything with them. Um, and then, of course, you got the typical like horseshoe theme. Um, a lot of bright colors. Really no... Uh, the only thing that's western on the play field, I guess, is those horseshoes. And then you've got uh, plastic. So you've got two guys here. Who knows what they're doing. And this guy here looks like he just got pimp slapped, but I can't tell. These guys, two guys here are conversing. These two guys here are conversing. These guys are, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and a couple more guys on the horse. And up here you've got some cacti and stuff like that. You've got this guy over here who's walking off. Or is pacing off and turned to drown to shoot or something. Another little horse here. Alright, so we'll read the instructions. It says, gun smoke, one or two can play. Ball in the top hole, the side hole, or passing through the bottom gun smoke lane, when lit, starts the gun smoke scores flashing on the back glass. So top hole lights gun smoke score side hole lights gun smoke score 
or the bottom side lights gun smoke score when lit so that one's lit right now this one can light up too they toggle back and forth so if you do that it starts the gun smoke score flashing on the back glass so the gun smoke score is literally the score in the guy's gun smoke so those will start lighting up in a sequence and the game stops when it does that player must first press gun smoke button on front of cabinet so that's that button there that looks like a start button must first press gun smoke button on front of cabinet to stop flashing score at highest value before resuming further play so you stop basically the light is spinning around and you uh, you press the button on the front and it stops it and then you win those points and then it kicks the ball back out if it's in the top ones and starts the game back up if you're on the bottom of course you lose the ball and it kicks it back out to your next ball or game over if it's the end of the game bonus scores are collected as indicated on play field bonus score advanced values remain until ball leaves the play field so you start at 50 this is it here and you can advance it with these rollovers here you can advance it with these rollovers up here um, that may be the only way to advance it and uh, so it'll pop up bop, 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 and you can get it up to 500 and then you can collect it by making that kick out or making this one when lit or this one when lit boop, boop, boop. ball return gate opens at highest bonus score bonus score value so whenever you march this all the way up to 500 this gate over here opens up gate open when lit and then the, it makes it where the ball can fall back out into the out lane a tilt disqualifies the ball in play only so instead of ending the game you just in that ball. Gun smoke. These things had a little plastic piece here that tells you the ball in play and it says game over right now. But uh, unfortunately they don't remake that yet so we had them just make one out of paper and put it on there. So I will set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit. If you like old EM pinball machines, you'll get a kick out of this one. Okay, folks. Doesn't it look great in the dark with all the lights on? Check that out. I just said in the dark with all the lights on. <laughs> I must be related to Yogi Berra or something. All right, we're going to play it a little bit. It quickly reset the score reels as it should. Now we're kind of play testing it. You folks are the first ones to play this thing with me. You know, we're kind of playing it a little bit. Got the camera set up while we play it a little bit just to make sure everything works right. So basically my strategy is going to be to try to land in the kick out holes over and over again. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And by the way, the flippers are actually pretty good on this thing, even though they're those little ones. They're amazingly strong. If you watch the repair videos, remember I found that thing where it, uh, you could put it on weak or strong, and I put it on strong. Holy crap. If you've got a Chicago coin, go look on the schematics. It's just a little jumper inside. You just move it. You don't have to solder it or anything. Boom. Okay, the... Yeah, buddy. The gun smoke score was going off. I don't know if you could tell. Like, here's the gun smoke guy. And so, like in this area here, if you see a bunch of lights flashing, it's the reflection of the uh, back glass. That's the gun smoke score. And I got the 500, so I'm at 1,046 points, which is a lot for back in the day. Whoa, right by me. <laughs> Slid it right by me. Now, a lot of people aren't going to like that there's so much room between the flippers. But there's the pop-up thing. And this was the first one with the pop-up thing. So they were kind of doing it like that on purpose. So I got 
1,049 points. Yes, embarrassingly, that means I got three points on that last ball. Fifty, fifty-one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. So the so that was three hundred. Oh, we're back in it. Five hundred. Oh, we're back in it. I only got fifty that time. That couldn't have been right that last time. It went right back in. There's a center post, too. Here we go. There we go. Advance that thing up. There we go. All right, see how we're at the highest possible bonus value? So it's opened up the gate. Another, another cool little thing I found on the schematics, if you're into that. Um, if you watched the repair videos, you saw me looking through them. The advanced bonus score buttons. So these two here, and then there's two under the, the thing that give you, it advances the bonus score and gives you 100. But these ones, if you roll over these two, all it does is advance this bonus ladder. It's got it built into the game. It's on the schematics. It took me a while to find it. That it goes from, so right now it's at 50. If I roll over that advanced bonus, I don't get any points. It just moves this up to 100, and then 200, and 300, and 500. And once I get up to 500, these switch. And then now what they do is, every time you roll over them, you get 10 points, and it alternates this light. So like this, one, how this one's lit on the left, it'll come over to this side. And the way this one's lit on the right, it'll come over to this side. So these buttons actually change their purpose once you get the bonus ladder all the way to the top. It's pretty cool. So you'll see it doing that once I get it up to 500. See, it's at 300 now. Every time you roll over it after, like, so now, every time I roll over it now, I'll get 10 points. But let's do the gun smoke part. Ugh. Did you hear it? All right, game over. Um, the, uh, the gun smoke thing, too isn't as easy as it sounds i don't know what they've got going on there's some kind of delay built into it or something when you hit the button it doesn't stop the light uh the flashing light where you hit the button all right so that time i got 2785 points let me show you too how the apron works see how the ball and play and that light was this was a plastic card that was all melted you saw it in the repair videos so i made a paper one and there's a mask that goes behind it that makes it where it makes it things light up from behind the, the box and you can see how the back glass ended up looking after all of that paint that we did definitely not perfect see the guy's face looks horrible but uh, you know saved it <laughs> The only, only thing else we could have done with it was throw it away, and that wasn't going to happen. Let's put you back down here. All right. See so how the flippers are, are pretty strong? You kind of got to get used to playing each game. This one has this ball saver post, so if you're brave enough, you can let the ball come down and just bounce right off of it. Leave your flippers alone, and if you're lucky, hit it on the bounce back. Oh, man. That was a sucker shot. <clears throat> Horrible. I won't even say how many points I got that done. But check this out. The apron that we were looking at. 
Now it's lit up game over and in red, no doubt. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty cool design for 1968. I don't want to hear any complaints about being seasick either. Come on, people. Come on, people. I'm just trying to show you some stuff. because I thought it might make it go down the hole. Get back up there. Get back up there. Damn. This thing's tough, man. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, another bad game. Let's try it again. Oh, but I got the gun smoke thing. Here we go. Uh, 300. I mean, it's all right. Check out the strength on the flippers. I mean, really? Ah, so I had the ball saver up and it went out the out lane. Come on now. Oh, that's a gun smoke score hole too. All right, see how we're all the way up? Oh, I got the, very cool. All right, so that was a good little illustration. So I collected the bonus by landing in the middle hole and then it flipped out and did whatever and ran back out the ball gate. So now that I've got it up to 500, watch if I roll over these two bumpers. They've all, they've switched now, they're worth 10 points and you'll see it it'll pop the lights back and forth. See how I'm hitting them? That's the, that, that bell that you're hearing. There we go. Heck yeah. Mm, I should have let it. I should have let it kind of hang. All right, I got 2,901 points that time. Let's try it one more game. Mm, yeah, it's got some kind of delay. Sometimes it does it right when you hit the button, and then sometimes it does it like it moves two or three more. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> Special win lit. All right. Oh, come on. I was robbed. I said that was one more game, but I can't go out like that. All right. Big mummy. Big money. Big money. Double whammy. There we go. Yeah, 500 ball popper up. Oh, and then it went back down, but that's all right. Let's go for broke. Oh, I should have hit it sooner. I about got it on the bounce, though. I think if you played it enough to where you got pretty good at it, you could learn when to mm, when to let it go and when not to. Oh. It's playing itself, people. Come on, come on. 
All right, well, there you go. We could be here all night. That is Chicago Coins 1968 Gunsmoke. Pretty cool game. Now, I know, like I said, I know a lot of people probably won't like that there's that hole between the flippers, but you can't keep playing games that are exactly the same, people. I mean, you want one that's a little different every once in a while. So this is, you know, it's still pinball, but it's got a post that can come up in the middle. You know, every once in a while you play something a little different. I mean, come on. All right, so there you go. That's Chicago Coins 1968 Gunsmoke. In my opinion, cool game, but here's a little spoiler. I think they're all cool. And this one was broke. Like I said, whenever we saw it, it was sitting out in some guy's yard. Sitting in the damn yard. What was he thinking? So if you watched the other videos, you saw that we went through all the trouble to fix it. Got it up and running again. And as you can see, we just played it. This thing's back with the living. Isn't that cool? That's pretty sweet. Now, by the time you see this video, we may not have Chicago Coins Gunsmoke for sale anymore. It may have moseyed on over to somebody else's game room. But you can see all of the games that we do have for sale by going to our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. And we've got a, uh, uh, a bunch of uh, games listed on there. It's all the stuff that we have available right now. Even if you see this video years from now, that list will be up to date. And we've got prices and pictures and descriptions and all of that up on there. Now, if you're local, you can come by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a showroom here full of arcade games and pinball machines and a few jukeboxes. Um, you can stop by and see what we're working on. Now, if you can't come by because you don't live anywhere near here and you don't want to buy one because you don't want to ship it or you're just not in the market for one right now, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. And every time we get a game done that's something interesting like this, we film a little video for all of our YouTube friends. Now, all we ask of you is that you give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble, the time, to film this for you. We didn't have to do that. Give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. If you've ever played this thing, let us know that, too. We, we like hearing that. Um, or maybe... Uh, Maybe uh, you've got one that you're working on, or you've seen one somewhere. But regardless, leave your comments below about what you think of it, and uh, we will see you on the next video. Gunsmoke.